everyone. I hope you're having a great morning. My morning has been crazy busy as usual, so that's okay. I wouldn't expect it to be anything different. My name is Colleen Magnus and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator on the East Coast in Chesapeake, Virginia. And I come to you live every Wednesday at noontime um, and I share some creativity with you. It's like the middle of the week. It is the middle of the day. You probably need a break by now, a little inspiration. So that is what I am hoping to give you at this time. So today we are going to be creating a Christmas card with the Leaves of Holly a bundle and the um, Boughs of Holly designer series paper. Beautiful bundle in the mini catalog. Plus, Stampin' Up! has an amazing sale going on right now. It started yesterday and it will go till Friday, only Friday, um, and it is called the Seasonal Sale, the Seasonal Annual Catalog Sale. So all the sale items are in this annual catalog, which is an amazing catalog, and it's great. The um, punches are 10% off, stamps are 15% off, the dies and embossing folders are 20% off, and 20% off for the non-specialty designer series paper. So that is pretty much the designer papers that are priced around $12. So this sale is only started yesterday from now till this Friday, the 18th of November, but they do have limited supplies. So please, please, please don't wait till the last minute to place your order. I am going to be giving you a sneak peek at the end of the demonstration of my card on my favorite dies. I will show you how much you could save on them, and I really consider them to be must-have dies. Um, they're wonderful. So I hope after the card, you will stick with me, and um, we'll share those dies, and we'll share this card together. So I've got plenty of people popping on. Thank you so much. I love that you all support me and join me here. It's lonely in the stamp room in the mornings, so I gr it's great to have you here. So I Doris, I haven't seen you in a while. Good, Doris placed her order yesterday. Good deal. We have uh, Becky. We have, um, I've got my camera, I'm scrolling through. So Becky Schlossenagel. We have Barb. Hey, Barb, I just got to stamp with you yesterday. That was awesome. And Dora says it's 33 degrees after light snow in Wisconsin. We want snow. Send it to us, Barb, but we're spoiled. We like it late January, early February. Um, my brother lives in Iowa. He's a beach boy. And they had a dusting yesterday, so he's been griping a little bit, but he better get used to it. They're going to see some snow this year, I'm sure. So welcome, Connie. Welcome, Dot. Welcome, Sandy. Um, again, I appreciate you all being here. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead. Mary's here, too. Hey, Mary. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera down. We're going to create our Christmas card because this is my countdown to Christmas. Now, can I just say... I don't know why I titled it that. The countdown to Christmas um, just kind of freaks me out because I haven't even started. I still have my fall decorations up, but it's not Thanksgiving yet. I usually do have the rule, my son does that. No tree goes up um, before Thanksgiving. So we have that and I really do find whether you shop three months in advance or three weeks in advance, it always gets done. In fact, I'll probably buy a little bit less if I wait till the last minute. So Becky, enjoy your three inches of um, snow in Pennsylvania. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm originally from Chicago, so I love the snow myself. I love the cold, kind of weird like that. Um, but let's get started stamping. And again, don't forget, after I show you this, this card, I want you to stay and watch the dies that I'm gonna showcase. They're really, really nice. So here we go. Let me turn you around, flip you down and move my stand. One day I'm gonna find a better way, but until I do, we're just gonna roll like this. Okay, let me also boot up on my laptop so I can try to watch the comments that we have. So y'all know, you leave a comment, share, um, go to my YouTube channel, please subscribe there. Everything I do is creating with Colleen, and my YouTube is creating with Colleen Magnus. But normally what I do is um, I give away the card from last week. I draw a name from the comments and I have to confess, I didn't do that this morning. Um, it's been a crazy morning. So I had to get everything done. So I will, I promise you, later today, this was a card we made 
last year, uh, last year, oh my goodness, feels that way, doesn't it? <laughs> last Wednesday, and this was the Fitting Florets Bundle, and I turned it into, um, of course, a Christmas card. So this is the card I'll be giving away from last week. Again, I'm sorry I didn't pull a name, but I'll post it on our Facebook page. So if you had liked, shared, or left a comment, um, I will just ask you to send me a private message with your address and I'd be happy to send you that card. So for today, we are gonna be creating with the Boughs of Holly Suite. So, you know, they just have so many beautiful bundles in here. It's really hard, you know, to just pick them or to show them all to you. That's why I wanna share these dies with you at the end of the card because some of them I haven't even used yet. Um, it's been a crazy year, the little over past year. My son moved in with his family, so we have two grandbabies here, which is absolutely wonderful, uh, but it's kind of hard to focus. We got a lot of life going on. And then uh, my father's been ill, he's in a nursing home, so you know, sometimes you just gotta step back a little bit and live life. And um, that's what I've been doing. So I do wanna show you these products, because you know I have them. But this is the Bows of Holly, and I wanted to share with you beautiful cards. It's on page 24 and 25 in the mini catalog. And please keep in mind that, you know, the things in the mini catalog are while supplies last. And we're kind of feeling that now. Um, the, let me see if I could find the paper real quick. It was in the back. The Lights Aglow Designer Series paper, so sadly, is sold out. It was one of the first things not available anymore, and it breaks my heart because I demonstrated it yesterday, and I really wanted an extra pack for myself. So here it is on page 31, and it is, again, the Lights of Glow, a Glow Designer Series paper, not available anymore, but things in this catalog are going to start selling out because if they did not carry over, then once they're gone, they're going to be gone for good. But today... This is all here. So I am going to be sharing with you this wonderful bundle. I don't have my papers out, but basically you have this gorgeous designer series paper down here. Hold it up a little higher. This is called Bows of Holly. It's 12 by 12 sheets, and it's um, basically two each of six double side designs, gorgeous colors. And then I have the bundle. So this is a bundle, the Leaves of Holly stamp set. And then these are the dies. So there's this beautiful label in here that I'll be sharing with you. You have, um, let me see here, which ones? They don't show you. The little, uh, these, this is like the detail. So you can layer light and dark colors for your hollies and then this wonderful label and of course your berries. What would berries be without hollies? Okay, so it's just a card. And the reason I love a card like this is because we all have extra pieces of designer paper. I don't know if you're like me, but they're really kind of hard to throw out, especially when they are gorgeous. So this works great for any type of card. You just change your sentiment. I'll give you the measurements on all these and I, I did manage to get a picture taken before we got started. So I will post all the dimensions on my Facebook page as soon as we are done. But this is from our home to yours. And may your days be happy, your heart be light, your Christmas merry, and your new year bright. And I love this because just in case I'm a little bit late sliding into Christmas, then at least I'm still wishing them a happy new year. It's kind of like giving you an extra week grace period on the holidays. And Lord knows I need that all the time. So that inside sentiment actually came from a great stamp set called Very Best Occasions. And this features all different occasions. Great set to have. So let me give you those measurements. You are gonna need a five and a half by eight and a half piece of crumb cake. And you're gonna score this at four and a quarter and that's gonna create your card base. Then you will need a five and a quarter by four inch piece of cherry cobbler, two, Gorgeous colors, and can I just say that even real red with crumb cake, both of those just make for a great, kind of a country Christmas card. 
Then you're gonna need a five by three and three quarters piece of evening evergreen. You are going to need a five by three and three quarters piece of basic white. This is what we're using for the inside. And then I've got a bunch of little pieces. Let me move these out of the way and just keep these on the designer paper and kind of go through them. Okay. So here for those stripes, I'm gonna show you how to do this two different ways. Being a drafter, okay, being a drafter, you know, I just gotta have everything symmetrical. At least I try. So all of this is, you know, tailored in a quarter of an inch. Everything's like a quarter of an inch around. So for this card to have a completely filled, you are going to have four pieces of designer series paper. And this is a bows of holly paper. And I actually cut these one and one sixteenths. So they're one and one sixteenths by three and a half. And if you're not crazy about doing the three sixteenths, I can show you this one here. And I didn't take a picture of this, so do a snapshot if you have it. It's basically the same card, but at the time I had one inch strips. So I didn't have the 16th. So basically, see how it's just slightly wider on the sides? That didn't really, well, I say it didn't bother me as a drafter, it bothered me a little bit. Um, but anyways, you could still do, do this. And here your strips are one by three and a half. So the same, same height, just, it just came in about a quarter inch. And then for your cherry cobbler, just make that five by four inches. And then your even and evergreen is four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then this way you don't have to cut a one sixteenth. But I'm hoping if you stamp with me long enough, you won't be afraid of that ruler because it really makes for nice details on the card. So here you've got one one sixteenth by three and a half. You're gonna need this, that label out of the um, beautiful gold foil. A little white label from the dies in the boughs of holly. And in there to work with the, um, the leaves, because this actually goes behind here so you don't have open leaves. I cut, these are all in the dies now. This is old olive. Then the solid berries I did real red. The highlights of the berries I did cherry cobbler. This little strip is half inch by five inches. I'm gonna put this on the inside as an accent. And then this beautiful ribbon right here, which is the satin edge ribbon. Use it for everything. It's like an organdy ribbon. So, Kylie, I always feel like I'm dumping so much on you when I tell you all these measurements. But again, I will have a picture of what you need. So Miss Paula's come on. Hello, Paula. Um, let me see. Stephanie's getting it in the mail today. Doris is here. Okay, let's roll. Oh, thank you, Sandy. It's, she said such a pretty card. But again, I love the fact that you could use, it's kind of like that black dress that you used to go to a cocktail party. Um, it fits everything because you, you can use it with any style of designer series paper. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Evening Evergreen I have my strips of paper on here. And when I tape these on, y'all have heard me say before, do not push it down till it's where you like it, especially if you got an eye for measurements. But I'm gonna just kind of stagger the pieces, again, all from the boughs of holiday, holly, holly, not holiday. I'm gonna, I like to work from the inside out because I find if you start taping in a certain direction, you could run out of room down here. Then you gotta take it all back up and get it right again. That is not good. So here I will, let me put this this way. I'm just gonna kind of lay these on here. And then I do the right side. And a lot of times if it's just a little bit off, then you can actually just split the difference in the middle. Of course I am not right on top of this. So close enough, we'll have to count. And I think a lot of times when you're creating, we're so critical, like we, we really just kind of micromanage every little part and this might not be right or that might not be right. But when you put it all together, nobody sees that. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So I have those. 
I think I can live with those. Now I can push them all down. Now this is going to go on to layer onto the cherry cobbler. Whenever you layer something, just go it by quarter inches. That gives you a really nice border all the way around. So whatever the larger side is, just come in a quarter inch on each side and you can put as many, many layers down as you like. So that there is the basis of the card. And I just, I tell you, I like it just like that. And I love this label, but I'm like, oh, covers up a lot of the designer paper. Good thing I can see everything here. So when I stamp, this is a little um, tip to let y'all know. A lot of times, so say for example, I don't know if you could see this. This says, this is the from our home to yours. I'm sure when Stampin' Up! created these blocks, they said, oh my goodness, that'll fit great on there. And it does. But I find when it's on there like that, I have a hard time seeing because you kind of catch the edges of the block and it doesn't give you a whole lot of room to center it. So I like to use just a little bit, a block that's a little bit bigger. And you can actually lay it down, get a little straighter this way. But when I have it this way, then I can see top and bottom. And it really makes it a lot easier when I am um, positioning it on my label. Because then I can see the whole label. So I'm going to take my little label and I'm going to take the Evening Evergreen ink. Very lightly, if you notice, I only have ink on the letters, on the words. And then I'm, when I stamp it, I'm actually going to stamp it to the right because my berries are going to come over on the left a little bit. Now, when you cut this out, it really is a beautiful die. And if I was taping this down, I could put a little bit of tape and hold this frame around it. But this frame kind of, it can bend up. So when I did my card, I, I thought, I don't want to have to, I put this on with dimensionals. How in the world would I stabilize that with dimensionals? Well, I didn't think I could. So I just decided to snip it off. It's beautiful, but nobody's going to miss it. And then I have the solid label. And I feel like that's good and stable right there. Hello, Miss Fran. Hope you're doing well today. So here I have my label. And again, I'm just going to kind of put it on the right here. I'm not going to push it down because I want to make sure it's straight. Yep. Good enough. Whoops. I moved it. Let me make sure it's straight again. All right. Good enough. So when I have this, I have to, I could put it on here, but see how you see through the um, holly? So they made another die, which is great because this comes along, I just got to figure out which way, this comes along the back. And then at least you don't see through this, you see the color behind it. So with this, I'm going to take my liquid glue, and again, I want to make sure the way this is. Yep. I should have my craft and rubber mat, but since I don't, I'll just try to have a light hand. Y'all have heard me say it, and you will always hear me say it. Everything is better in stamping with a light hand. No matter what you're doing, especially if you're inking. So Fran said um, she wishes they had a die for backing that. They have to, Fran, because I have this cut. Now, let me show it to you in just a minute. Let me get this down there. Yeah, they thought of everything on this. So I have my, ah, I should have put my disclaimer out. I'll teach you what to do or what not to do, but I promise to teach you something. <laughs> okay. So here you have the backing of the holly. And Fran, they do have it. If you look at the dies here, this here is the label die that I just used. And that's what, get it up. That's what this piece is. So you can cut your label, any, like I did the gold foil, anything you want, then cut whatever you want the inside of that holly to be, and that goes on here. So when you turn it over, like I did on the label, 
then you can see um, that the holly is backed like that and you won't see through it. So that's exactly how it goes. So your wish came true. She says she wished they had a die for backing that. Oh, I wish all wishes came true. But stamping ones that come true are great. So I'm gonna, once I have this on here, you know, I like to take um, the piece of ribbon and do a little bit of an accent. And so what I do, just to keep it simple, I put a little bit of tape in the middle and I'll do like this. So I kind of have that little, I don't know what you call it. It's not a bow. What would y'all you, call that? Off to the side. I have no clue. But I'm just gonna put it on here, on the back, and then I can trim this. A banner, it's kind of like a banner. A ribbon banner, maybe. So I have this piece here, and then I am going to do my berries. So with the berries, I've got the real red and the solid, and then I accented it with the cherry cobbler. So again, if I was smart, I would have my craft and rubber mat. It is somewhere, but I will go light and hope it doesn't stick to my fingers. Here we go. Couple dabs of Julia. Okay. And then when I pick this up, let me slide it to the table to get it. <gasps> Stuck to my finger. I can just put it right on. Let me get the glue off my finger, otherwise it'll be sticking again. Okay. So now I have my berries on here, and I'm just gonna put these on with some mini dimensionals. Got to get the first one out. So I cannot believe that Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Um, still debating whether I'm going to have it at my mom's or my house, but it's okay because we live seven doors apart. So it's not like anybody would have to go far either way. So I'll put my little berries, the highlights, and of course, you know you want some Wink of Stella. So how are y'all liking this card so far? I... I just loved um, the colors and the designer paper, and I really did like, who doesn't like Holly for Christmas? Okay, so there's my tag. Take a couple of larger dimensionals, put them on the back here. Oh, thank you, Becky. Thank you, she says it's beautiful. You know, I love, the Stampin' Up uh, products, Becky, because that's really what makes it beautiful. You know, when everything coordinates, I always say I'm a little color challenged, but it doesn't matter because when you get your designer paper, it even tells you on the back what colors coordinate with it or, um, you know, what colors to use that they used. And that's where I get a lot of my color inspiration. So let's do something for the inside here. So I've got the five by three and three quarters basic white. Thank you. Y'all seem to like the card. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of tape. And this is paper from the same, you know, the Bows of Holly. And sometimes it's pretty just to put like a little edge on the inside. It doesn't have to be anything special. Now, if this was four inches, I would always cut it four inches because it's a 12 inch sheet of paper. So, you know, you're gonna get the bang for your buck. So I would cut four, four, four. But since this was actually five and I believe it was, um, no, I'm sorry, three and three quarters, I did cut a little bit longer. And I do that because I don't want, I don't wanna be short on one side. So if you're not wasting your paper, which in that case I wasn't, I'll just put that on there. And actually I am living dangerously now because if I mess up, I already have my designer paper on there. So next time, stamp first, and then you can put it on there. But, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained, Mama always said. Ooh, good job. So may your days be happy, your heart be light, your Christmas merry, and your new year bright. So I'll just put this on the inside. This stuff is so strong. Works great. 
and then that is your Christmas card. So I promise you, since again, I forgot to draw a name for this one, I will draw a name for this card from last week and this card from this week. If you like, share, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, then I will draw the name and post them on our Facebook page. But don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. I've got something I wanted to share with you. As, let me reach over to here to my table and get it. Let's see here. So as I was saying, we have a great sale going on right now. It's seven pages that Stampin' Up! has. Everything is from the annual catalog. So don't get it confused with the um, mini catalog. But in the annual catalog, we have a sale through Friday. And again, it's 10% off punches, 15% off stamps, 20% off dies, 20% off embossing folders, and 20% off non-specialty designer series paper. So with that, even if you see a bundle in here that is priced 10% less, it's gonna be cheaper to buy it separately on sale. And you would have to put it in separately, the stamp set and the dies to get the sale price. So let me share with you um, a couple of my favorites that I have going right now from the annual catalog. This is called Grassy Grove. So this is a card and, gosh, I hope I put her name in here. Oh, I got it off Pinterest. Um, she had different labels, so I did change it a little bit. But what sold me on this card was the framed forest. And of course it has a die, so you could put any design back here. You could sponge a design, you know, sponge the colors and it could be a spring day, a fall day. You could get that other designer paper we had that actually had the scenery behind it. It's, I'm not even gonna tell you the um, name of it because it's already gone. It was in uh, like a catalog before, but just put it behind there and put your deers and it just makes for a gorgeous card. So when I first got this, this was in a previous catalog. And I said, you know what, if it carries over, I'm getting it, and it did. So basically, this is a stamp set, and I think the set is also good for masculine cards. So for here, it's called Grassy Grove. The stamp set is normally $24. It is on sale for $20.40. The dies, these are what the dies look like. Now the dies, are regularly $39. You can get them for $31.20. And so you see you have, you can cut out solid deers. This deer matches the stamp set, same with the trees. They have coordinating dies. And then there is that gorgeous scenery that we have. So all together, that would have normally cost you $63. If you get it on sale, it's only gonna cost you $51.60. So you're saving over $11. I'm all about the savings, ladies and gentlemen. So here, let me get my next one. This here, the first three I'm showing you actually have the, um, the stamp set too. The other ones are just great standalone dies. So this here, again, it was one that I bought for the dies. I didn't even get the stamp set at first because I didn't think I needed it. But now I know just get the stamp set because I always go back and get it. Um, but the reason I wanted these dies were for the designs. So this is called Scalloped Contours, normally $35 on sale for $28. But look at these dies. These frames are amazing. Then you have a scalloped edge and then these two flowers match the stamp set. But even though I didn't have the stamp set, I kept seeing these frames over and over again to where I just said, you know what? I have got to have them. So if you don't have them, now is an amazing time to get them. Because again, normally $35 on sale for $28. The stamp set is normally $21 on sale for $17.85. So here, if you were to buy both of them, it would be $56. But the sale price is $45 dollars and 85 cents so you're saving over ten dollars by getting the two together now this one where are my sunflower dies here we go this was um a carryover great set this is called celebrate sunflowers and let's face it sunflowers always make you happy it's just a, a great summer flower 
So here you have the Celebrate Sunflowers. The stamp set is normally $24. And let me see, it's on my screen here. Stamp set is normally $24. It's on sale for $20.40. The dies are great. You can tell I've used them, they're kind of jumbled. Um, but you have the outline of the flower, you have the detail. Those two work together with the stamp set. And the dies are normally $33 on sale for $25.40. So for those, it would normally be $57, but from now till Friday, but remember while supplies last, because they only did some limited numbers, it's $45.80, so you save again over $11. So the next ones I'm gonna show you are dies, just awesome dies. So this one is called the Meadow Dies. I'll just hold it up here. And I think what I love about it is these, to me, are like a silhouette. They didn't match um, any stamp set. There was a stamp set that went with it, but it was more words because you have this awesome label here. But what I loved about the flowers was silhouettes. So you could take these dies. You could, again, sponge a background, watercolor a background, whatever you want to do. Cut these dies out of a darker color. This is um, the black cardstock. Lay them on your card and it's beautiful. I do love a silhouette stamp and dies. So again, these are called the Meadow Dies. Normally $38 on, day, on sale for $30.40. Next I have the Split Card Texture Dies. Now I just got these. Sadly, I did not get them on sale, but you know, as a demonstrator, we are automatically save at least 20 to 25%. So if you're out there and you're watching and you're a demonstrator, or if you wanna become one and be on my team, because I have many happy shoppers, you don't have to do this for a living, you can just save. Um, you get the sale discount in addition to the discount Stampin' Up! gives you. So with the dies being 20% off, you're really getting 40 to 45% off on your dies, which is why I have so many dies. <laughs> So this is the split card textures, normally $28, on sale for $22.40. And you almost have to see these in action. I haven't played with them yet, they're on my list to play. But basically, this die goes in the corner of your card and it cuts out at an angle that corner. Then you can back it with designer paper or you can see what's underneath it. But great accent, great accent and something different for your cards. Now these are called the deckled rectangle edges, and I really didn't think I needed them at first, but you know how it is. I kept seeing more and more cards using these, and so, you know, I got them. Um, deckled rectangle dies, normally $30, on sale for $24. So here you have, how many, you have eight rectangles, but what's so cool about them is it's a rough edge that goes away around. So I have seen cards that actually cut the deckled square into a piece of cardstock, then they sponge it, they, it's called a masking type seal, and they, they um, sponge it on the inside and then stamped. And it's beautiful because it's not just a square. It's got that little bit of a deckle edge on it. That really adds a lot. Here you have the delicate edges dies. Now these, oh my goodness, I need to, well, it's grandbaby time, I can't take away from that. I really need to find more time to play because these I love, and I know they make a great card. The Delicate Edges dies are normally $30, and they're on sale for $24. So here, look how pretty these are. So what you do here is you would cut these out of a piece of cardstock, and they would actually layer um, onto, these would layer onto your cards. Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, these are the tulip swirls. Love this. Beautiful. So these are called the Delicate Edges Dies. So Stephanie says oh, she's going to have to watch the replay and look back on all the sale items. I can't write fast enough. I'm sorry, Stephanie. I, I know I talk fast. And the good thing is this is on the Facebook page when I am done. So you can go back and look at all of these. The, um, this is called Stylish Shapes Dies. So these are normally $32 and they're on sale for $24. So 
So here, these are great because y'all know I love my stitch dies. So with these shapes, you have the squares, the circles, and then the banners. And it's great to be putting all your words in there. And you can even layer them. Like you could have the one size square or circle or banner in white, stamp all of your words, and then cut the next one out of a colored cardstock and they would back together perfectly. So, no, I was doing a Facebook Live today, Kay. Okay? She didn't think I was doing one. She's on her way home from camping. Um, I tell you, Kay does so much camping, it's awesome. Well, Kay, I'm glad you found me. But again, it's here even when I'm not live. So those are the Stylish Shapes dice. Only got a couple more. But this, woo, you're going to love this one. This is called Stitched Greenery Die. It's regularly $32, and it's on sale for $25.60. And this, friends, is one of my favorites. It's just one plate. You might not have even noticed it in the annual catalog. And it has all these stitched leaves. So it is the perfect background. I myself, I really like texture, um, whether it's lightly stamped, because you can get too loud on your stuff, but this is just a beautiful texture. This, I hope you can see this. This is what it looks like on your paper. Let me see, hope you can see that. So it's very soft and subtle, because there's no color, it's just the pattern. So to me, this is definitely a must have. And if you can get it on sale, why wouldn't you? Now here is the tailor-made tag dies. They're probably all jumbled in here because I use these a lot. They are regularly $22 on sale for $17.60. Well, they're not too bad. But here you have all these tags. And what I love about the tags is you have this little thing in the middle. So where you have the holes for each tag, you can actually punch a little piece of color out and it accents that hole and it goes, uh, goes around it. So it really, really is cute. So these, I, you know, I thought, oh, I don't need tags. Well, guess what? I did and I'm glad I got them because the tailor-made tags are great. So I have one more, designer tags dies. These, again, I haven't used yet, only for lack of time because they are gorgeous. Um, $32 regularly on sale for $25.60. Look at these dies, gorgeous. So if you want a more feminine or detailed die, you have butterflies and flowers. This is great because you can actually have the die cut out with that little texture in there. You've got some little flowers or leaves, I should say. And this big die here is awesome because you can actually put this in the center of a card, take your ribbon and loop it through the sides. Oh my gosh, I have so got to play with this today. It's not gonna, not gonna happen today. I'll be uh, going to see my daddy in the nursing home here shortly. Uh, my mom's already up there. But yes, to have time. And isn't it funny with COVID? We really did think we just needed time. I needed time to purge the stamp room, to clean out closets. And I don't know, though. that was kind of a weird time because obviously that wasn't the problem. I never did get any of that done. And we had all the time in the world. So these are my number one picks. If you can request my newsletter, I sent this sale out earlier and I actually included the file in the sale. I can't post files on my business Facebook page, unfortunately, um, but private message me if you did not get this list. Again, it's seven pages showing you what the dies, punches, everything that's on sale, the item number, the old price, new price, and what page it's on. And I will well, definitely, I can always send this to you, even private message if you didn't get it from your news, my newsletter. But if you haven't subscribed already, please do. You just go to creatingwithcolleen.com and uh, request my newsletter to keep up on all the sales and I send lots of inspiration and videos. And if you would like to order any of these dies today, the November host code is right here. And if your order is under $150, please use that host code. And if not, then receive the host benefits for yourself because you will earn 10% of your merchandise amount in free merchandise when you place an order of $150 or more. So that is our lunch today. We went a little bit over, but not too bad. Not too, too bad. Um, normally I try to keep you about 30 minutes. 
because you need a potty break before you go back to work. But we're at 12.40, so I think we're okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. I will be here next Wednesday live. Again, we are every Wednesday at noon Eastern time. We are showcasing Christmas. And it won't be just cards. I'm kind of focusing on cards now because after all, we still have time to make them. But if not, uh, come December, late, well, it is late November, probably December, we're gonna start focusing on gifts and packaging and that kind of thing. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, I appreciate you all more than you would ever know. And I wish you the best. Have a wonderful day and make sure you do something creative. Take care now. Bye-bye.